Hello and welcome to your Trader Joe's Ultimate Pumpkin Guide. If you are here to see pumpkin, then you clicked on the right video. Today I'm going to show you every single item that has come in so far at Trader Joe's, whether it be the pumpkin stuff, all the seasonal holiday things, they are all arriving and there is so much to go over. So I hope you guys have your list ready because I'm going to go fast through all these items. I think there's about 70 plus items. I didn't count, but it's a lot. And I hope that you guys get your hands on some of this stuff. Now, announcement time. Um, September 12th, there is a second wave of pumpkin coming in. So make sure you're subscribed, your notifications are turned on. I really don't want you guys missing out this year on all the great, fantastic, fun things that are coming in and September 12th is just, a, it's like another pumpkin explosion like today. Um, so having said that, I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. I put a lot of really hard work and effort and I always appreciate you guys helping. It gets my videos out and it helps me pay for all these groceries which get pretty expensive this time of year. So thank you so much. Now to the last announcement. Most of you all know I work for Trader Joe's. I work at a store just as a crew member and we had a really interesting interesting thing told to us. Now, if you know about discontinued products, Trader Joe's is doing something different now. If something is discontinued, it doesn't mean that it won't come back. It just means that it won't be back within the 30 days, past 30 days, between 30 to 90 days is what they said. So something's just gonna be out for that long. They're gonna call it discontinued, but you may still see your favorite product pop up down the road. So that's a really cool new thing that Trader Joe's is doing. So that way you're not waiting around forever to figure out when this is coming back in. So having said that, let's check out this week's Trader Joe's haul, Pumpkin Extravaganza. Here we go. The time is now and I will tell you this is probably the largest pumpkin haul I have done to this date. So I am so excited to share with you. I'm gonna go quick through these things. So let's start with the frozen first, as we always do. We got the rice cauliflower and butternut squash risotto, one of my absolute favorite frozen items. However, my favorite frozen has not come in yet, which is the butternut squash mac and cheese. Now, I did say this in the intro, but remember, September 12th, there is a whole second wave of pumpkin. So I think that's when that is coming in, but let's get through the frozen here. This risotto, phenomenal. If you haven't tried it, highly, highly recommend. Now we also have the spaghetti squash spirals. These were um, not my absolute favorite. These are like, they're okay. They're not terrible. They're just not my favorite. I would much rather purchase the risotto over the squash spirals. So there you go for that. The rustic apple tart is back. If you like this, stock up. It's frozen, so you can definitely keep it in your freezer, um, I think up to a year, and you can use it whenever you want. But that is back as well. The pumpkin waffles. I mean, my five-year-old loves these. These are such a fan favorite among so many people that shop at Trader Joe's, and they are back as well. Let's not forget the hold the cone pumpkin ginger ice cream cones. These are so dang good. Um, the pumpkin ice cream is not in yet. So again, September 12th, I hope you guys are all subscribed. Your notifications are turned on. I really want you guys to get first come first serve stuff. So thanks for watching me and hopefully these hauls are helping. So these are back and these are fantastic. I love this ice cream. Now we're going to move to a couple other just seasonal items. These aren't necessarily pumpkin, but you sure could put some pumpkin puree in here and make a pumpkin pie. Um, it's the gluten-free uh, pie shell crust are back in too. It comes with a two pack. So they look like this in the frozen section and the puff pastry is also back in. So all these seasonal items that we wait for year round are finally back. So that is the frozen stuff and I will be right back after I put this away. The cinnamon brooms are also back in. So, so far this year we only have the large cinnamon brooms that have shown up so if you are looking for these these are fantastic basically if you don't know what they are they have a scent and you can put them around your house they're very very fragrant so one goes a long way and then there's a little mini cinnamon brooms that you can put in your car a lot of people like putting those in their bathrooms and smaller spaces but these are perfect just for like decor in your home and it even has like a little hook so if you want to hook it upside down you can do that I personally like putting these outside my front door so that when people walk up 
up. It smells really nice, but also my um, house isn't super fragrant. So um, we have animals and my son and I have sensitive <laughs> noses. So um, this is great though. These are so fun. And every year when they bring them into the store, I swear I'm, if I'm on register ringing people up, I can taste this thing because it's so strong. So those are back in as well. Now let's take a look at some pumpkin yogurt. So the pumpkin yogurt is back in. We've had this for so many years now. Um, and it tastes just like, almost like pumpkin ice cream really, but it's like the healthier version. So this is back. We have a brand new yogurt this year. This is the Honey Crisp Apple Cinnamon Yogurt. Tim and I will be trying this in the taste test, as well as the Creamy Cashew Pumpkin Spice Yogurt. So there is a dairy-free alternative for those that do not do dairy. Um, thank you, Trader Joe's, for putting out a pumpkin spice so all my dairy-free pumpkin spice lovers get to try it too. So that's exciting. And we'll try this one in the taste test as well so we can let you know how this one tastes. The Pecan Praline Granola is back in as well. This is a seasonal product. Um, I'm not a big granola eater, so this will be gifted. A lot of people ask me what I do with all this stuff. What do I do with it? Um, my neighbors are very happy this time of year because I make gift baskets and I gift them to everybody. I've actually done lots of videos on making these gift baskets, so if you guys wanna see previous videos on that, feel free. I also got some more Peruvian potato chips. These are fantastic. Tim and I already downed one whole bag. Seasonal item as well, so if you are looking to find these, get them now. The pumpkin tortilla chips are here. These are not my favorite. They kind of are on the sweet side because they have pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and it definitely has that cinnamon, nutmeggy flavor. So I feel like these would be good with like maybe using the pumpkin cream cheese and making a dip out of it and then using these chips with that. I think that would be really good. Um, otherwise, having this with like a salsa, the savory with the kind of sweet, I just don't like that. So. If you can come up with a really fun dip for these, I think it would be fantastic. Um, one of my other favorites are the fall leaf corn tortilla chips. So these are just regular corn tortilla chips and they're all in the shapes of the little fall leaves, which looks so pretty. If you can hold off and get put these out for Thanksgiving, I do that every year. Like put them out for Thanksgiving, they're a perfect little appetizer and they go with the theme. Now back here I have the little pumpkin vines that have come in and there's some that are much darker and these are um, these are like the lighter version of them and I guess these are actually eggplants. For a long time I thought they were tomatoes but they are eggplants, they're from the eggplant family and I like the ones that have kind of like a different colors throughout. It still gives that fall vibe but also gives that orange spooky Halloween vibe too and my pompous grass is just thriving back here. I love it. It looks so gorgeous. So this is available as well. Now let's move on to something brand new that just showed up. We've got the hand twisted cinnamon sugar bread. This, if you could smell it through the screen, I wish you could. It smells so good and you might be thinking it looks wet. It does because I had it frozen. So these come in frozen at nighttime, at least at my store they come in at night and I didn't want to um, have it thaw out yet because I wanted it to last. So now it is going to thaw for the taste test but let's take a look on the back here. So here are the nutrition facts for you and then you can take a peek at the ingredient list as well. So if this looks good to you. I mean, it smells amazing. I literally want to take a bite right now. It smells so good. So that is a new item at Trader Joe's. Now moving on to the pumpkin overnight oats. So these are back in. This was available last year. I remember not being the biggest fan of this one. I like the original the best, and I think that was the almond butter one that I like the most. This one is okay. It's not terrible, it's just not my favorite. The caramel sea salt baking chips are back in as well as the semi-sweet chocolate chunks. These are both uh, seasonal items that are here during the holiday season for baking and whatnot, whatever you wanna use it for. Same with the active dry yeast, this is back in as well. So these are all kind of things you can stock up on and have throughout the year, um, but they're all starting to trickle in now. Again, the pumpkin, organic pumpkin, canned pumpkin, this stuff we get asked about year round, 
but uh, during this time of year is the only time Trader Joe's has it. There are customers that request a case of this, so if you're looking for a lot of pump canned pumpkin and you wanna buy a case, you can call your Trader Joe's and they can order an extra one for you. Um, that's how it's been in previous years, hopefully the same this year. Uh, the organic condensed sweetened milk is also available again. This is again a seasonal product, not available year round, and another one you can stock up on because this doesn't, um, it's good until 2024, August 2024. So two years from now is when it goes. So if you wanted to stock up on this, do it now. I'm showing you the little sugar schools. These, I have two of them right here. These are available, um, they come with succulents. I've purchased these in previous years. My succulents never survive as much as I take care of them. They just don't um, because I think they're so small in these small little pots. But I always save my little sugar school pots because they're so cute and they still are festive for, you know, Halloween and decor around the house. So those are available. Same with the Yogi Skeletons. So this is mine from, I think, two years ago now. There's this and they have different poses. So there's this one and then there's this one that I got several years, maybe like six years ago, five years ago, and the little air plant died, but I kept the skeleton because again, this is so cute to just have as decor around the house. So those are available. Now the soups are also here. So the pumpkin bisque soup, this has much much more of a like mustardy undertone. So if you like that flavor, this is a soup you're gonna really enjoy. This autumn harvest soup has more of a tomato based flavor so I did a little um, comparison last year in a taste test that I tried these two soups and my my friend and I actually gave a really thorough review on the flavor profile and all that so if you want to see that you can but these are also available they come in the glass jars they're shelf stable you find it in the grocery aisle the herbs de Provence is back in as well this is fantastic I use this on my potatoes um, I just chop up the little baby potatoes a little olive oil Oil, sprinkle some of this on it pop them in the air fryer and it is the most delicious potatoes ever the pumpkin flavored Jojo's are also back in so far I haven't seen the regular like the Halloween Jojo's that are the orange with the little jack-o-lanterns cut out of them those are my favorite these I can do without I actually get these every year because they're so 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 sweet um, that they're just they're too sweet for me but they're a favorite amongst a lot of kiddos and adults too so those are back this, my friends, is one of the best things that has come in so far that's new. So this is the Cinnamon Roll Blondie Bar Baking Mix. And I was gonna make this in my taste test this week, but my store did the honors for me. They made it for all of us. We got to try it, and let me just tell you guys, buy it. <laughs> like, buy it before it's gone. I can't tell you how incredible, so incredibly delicious this blondie cinnamon bar mix was and I'm so shocked I only bought one I'm gonna have to go back and get a second one this is like Christmas morning on crack and I mean that in the best way it is so so delicious I didn't hear a single peep out of anyone when we were all trying this all the crew members are just mmm oh my gosh this is so good and I didn't I didn't hear a single person have any like anything negative to say which is a huge deal because everyone there's always someone in the group who has something negative to say nobody so if you don't get it that's on you I'm telling you it's seasonal and this is gonna fly because it's so good another seasonal new product that just showed up is the vanilla pumpkin hand soap and hand lotion this is a little duo and a cute little caddy that you can gift to a teacher a girlfriend a neighbor whoever but let me tell you the scents are it is chef's kiss incredible love the smells they are super um they smell very high end i had tim smell it and he's like oh wow this smells like really expensive and i'm like i agree it's kind of it kind of gives bath and body works vibes but like a really nice subtle vanilla pumpkin scent and it is just it's glorious i love it love it love it love it trader joe's killed it this year in the scent department for these sometimes they're too scented and then like i said i'm not a big scent girl so this is fantastic highly recommend purchasing one if you like the vanilla pumpkin scent um the pumpkin butter is also back another favorite amongst a lot of people same with the candles the honey crisp candle and the vanilla pumpkin candle this is one of my all-time favorites i love this scent it is 
is so fantastic. Um, and then the Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce is back in. This is fantastic. And I always, always, always pair this pasta sauce with the fall zucchette pasta. So this is a fun little, looks like pumpkins. Um, the only thing I just don't like about this pasta is it breaks up into little pieces in the pot. I've tried every way. You guys have given me tips and it still breaks apart. So um, you just live with it and know that's just the way it goes, but it's still delicious nonetheless. So back over here. Also, the pumpkin cranberry crisps are back in as well. This actually pairs really well with the pumpkin cream cheese. Like I was saying, this is also available right now at Trader Joe's. Um, so many things, guys. I hope you have your lists out because I'm going fast. Um, got a couple new beers this week to try. These just came into my store. The Light Blonde Ale. And this one is a Chula Vista Brewery. And then we also have the War Plains Hazy Pale Ale. You all know that Tim and I have been really getting into the um, hazies. And so this one looked great. And it reminds me of Top Gun a lot. And we just, we saw that movie in the theater and it was so good. So um, yeah, we are gonna try these two in the taste test. 4.3%, this is a light blonde ale, uh, bright crisp, refreshing 4.3, and then the hazy at 5.8%. And then the big daddy, the Speculose Cookie Butter Beer. This is back and it's in a can this year, and this one is nine. 0.5%. So I recommend finding a friend and sharing because this is just, it's such a high vol, uh, high percentage alcohol. Um, and this one, I just don't remember. I don't think Tim and I liked it very much, but we will try it in the taste test and you'll get a firsthand review from us trying it again. Sometimes our taste buds change, sometimes formulas change. So we'll see if we like it, but these three are going to be in the taste test this week. Same with this, the brand new focaccia French onion bread, and let me tell you, when this arrived to my store, everyone freaked out. They were all like, this it, This looks insane. It's perfect to um, have for soup. It's called a soup bread, and it is lightly scored, so it can be divided into four pieces. So I don't know if you can tell, because this one I had frozen as well. This also comes in frozen, but there's four. It's kind of like divided, but as a chunk, if that makes sense. It's easy to pull apart, pretty much. Um, but we will be trying this in the taste test as well. Here's the nutrition facts for you and the ingredient list. And it just says it is good with soup and loaded, it says it's loaded with car caramelized onions and cheese. Enjoy on its own a cup of soup or as a dinner accompaniment. So fantastic, cannot wait to try this. It does smell fantastic as well, both these breads. Like, thank you Trader Joe's, I love bread. How'd they know? Um, this organic spaghetti squash nests are here. So this is a brand new product to us. I think other stores have gotten it prior. My store hadn't, so this is a brand new product to me. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's dry and it feels so light. It feels like the box is empty actually. This is found in the grocery aisle and it says it's dried and ready to boil. So we'll be trying this also in the taste test. Let me not forget the nutrition facts here. Um, basically super super easy to cook it sounds like and the ingredients are literally just organic dried spaghetti squash if you have not tried fresh spaghetti squash which I think is fantastic this one might be the next best option but we shall see and I'll let you know our honest opinion in the taste test one of my favorite kombuchas is back the living in gratitude fall edition kombucha it is so yummy this is not pumpkin at all this is more of like the cinnamon, the clove, all that like really yummy nutmeg smell, scent. It's just like very, very fall, very fall and very delicious. I love it. Petite pumpkin spice cookies, which I have backwards. Let's look at the front. Here's the front so you can see there's a little window and they're pumpkin shapes, orange and white, and they have sprinkles on them. They're coated with a yogurt coating. So these are back in. My son loves these, but I tend to gift these because my son will eat like two and then he doesn't eat them again. So I'd rather them get it all the way eaten than just a couple. The dog treats are here. So I showed some new dog treats last week. This week, the classic pumpkin recipe dog treats are back. Uh, really fun, they're pumpkin shape. My dogs love these also. Now let's get to the ultimate. What y'all been waiting for? All of the pancake pumpkin mixes. So we've got the gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. This one sells out 
every year and everybody looks for it because uh, it's hard to find the gluten-free pumpkin stuff. Trader Joe's has you covered and so if you wanna run to your Trader Joe's, and I mean run, grab it now. The regular pumpkin pancake and waffle mix is also available as well as the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. I think the, this one and the pumpkin bread mix, both of those are just just like the most popular thing of all time at Trader Joe's. Um, the pumpkin spice ro rooibos herbal blend is also back in. I just love this tin. It is so cute and I swear one of these days I'm going to make a candle out of it once the tea bags are used. But these have the 20 sachets in it and it's just a really cool canister that it comes in. The pumpkin biscotti is also available now. Same with the organic pumpkin spice granola bark. So this is my least favorite product. I know some people absolutely love this. It's gluten free by the way. I personally just do not like it and I had a customer yesterday come through my line and she's like, that pumpkin spice granola bark tasted like cardboard. And I was like, girl, I couldn't agree with you more, but I know there's people that love it and that's just what's great about Trader Joe's. There's something for everyone, so if your taste buds are all about this, then that's great, but mine just do not, they do not agree with it, so that's it. The Joseph Bra Oktoberfest is also available. This one is a seasonal beer that comes in during this time of year, and it's a really good beer. I actually really enjoy it, so that is also available. Now I showed this last week, but this pumpkin walks into a bar are available. My son, one of my son's favorite things, he's been having them in his lunch every day, so he really likes that. Same with the spice cider, this is also available now. This is another really popular product, and it's great to save until the holidays if you wanna make like a spice cider um, with some, I don't know, people, I think people put alcohol in it, but I like it plain, just heat it up a little bit, it's really good. The organic Vermont maple syrup bourbon barrel aged is also in, and look at this cool new glass that they put it in. This is glass, it's thick, it's very heavy, and this is such a pretty bottle. I feel like this could be saved and then used to display or put like little flowers in. It's just a really cool bottle, I like it a lot. Um, the pumpkin spi pie spice is also in and available. Same with the cinnamon and all of the um, fall seasonings. Those are all in at Trader Joe's. If you didn't know, seasonings are seasonal at Trader Joe's. I guess the name goes with it. But yeah, pumpkin spice pie is available. Cinnamon bun spread is also back. This was uh, just, it went off last year. Everybody was going crazy over this stuff. I forget what to eat, what I even used it on, but this is a great gift or just really fun to have around. You can make pancakes with it. I've seen people use it in cookies and things like that, so that's really fun. Um, the apple cider fruit spread is also back. I always make my son's peanut butter jellies during the fall with this spread because it has actual chunks of apple and it is really flavorful and it has a little cinnamon kick and it's delicious. Pepper jelly, so if you didn't know, pepper jelly is now seasonal. This used to be a year-round product. Trader Joe's had it all the time. Now it is a seasonal product, and if you were wondering where it went, it's just seasonal now, so it is available during this time of year, and it should be all the way up until January. So if you see it at your store, don't hesitate, and, you, and if you've been waiting and wanting to buy it, don't hesitate, buy it now, because this, you just, I just don't know how long things are gonna be around. It's been so hit and miss with stuff recently at Trader Joe's so this is also back in the vanilla bean paste this is one of those products that if you know you know because they sell this at Williams and Sonoma for I think 25 plus dollars and you can get it at, at Trader Joe's for $4.99 so this is one of those things that if you're a baker or if you really enjoy having what it looks like is the actual seeds of the vanilla. When you use this, you can see those black little seeds, which gives it just like that little extra something that I really enjoy. I still use regular vanilla as well to make sure it's really flavored, but this paste is fantastic and it is so much higher priced at other places, so grab it while it's here. Now to the pumpkin chunk oatmeal cookie mix. So this is great, all you need is the wet ingredients, which I think is like an egg and some other stuff, I can't remember, but that is here now. And then the pepita salsa is also available. I have tried this with the pumpkin tortilla chips that I was talking about being sweet, but I still think that it doesn't go totally because this is a little more, I think it's more savory. Maybe we'll try this in the taste test because I really don't remember. I think I skipped buying this last year or maybe I gifted it. So anyway, this is available now. 
We also got some natural wines. So one of my managers was talking to me about these and he said that these are like his favorite kind of wines right now, these natural wines. What's great about them are they are vegan, um, so that's fantastic. Vegan friendly wine, it is sustainably farmed, made with organic grapes. It's called a clean wine. We've got the Chardonnay here, 2020. We also have the 2018 Cab Sauve. And they both, I love this little, the sayings on here are so cool. This one says, tastes like dolphin rides. <laughs> it's so funny. And being promoted to head astronaut. Have a glass, have another. Such cute labels. And then this one says, Tastes like magic hour, being right and beating the high score. Super cute and silly, whimsical. Now tell me this though, I love that this is showing the natural cork on here, no seal. And this one is a seal and it just makes it look cheaper in my opinion. I like this one so much better. But we're gonna try these both in the taste test. We're gonna let you know which, which wine we prefer and how they rank amongst our little wine taste buds that we have. So that's fantastic. Honey roasted pumpkin ravioli is back in. This is so fun for um, this time of year. Just having a little pumpkin ravioli. And you can also pair that with the Harvest Autumnal um, pasta sauce too. So I've done that in the past. Otherwise, I like to just do a little olive oil, salt, pepper, and some Parmesan and call it a day because you don't need much. It's pretty flavorful um, for, for in itself, just the, the filling of the ravioli. So there's that. Now we have two new things that just came in. The pumpkin gnocchi, soft pillowy potatoes with the pumpkin flavor. Uh, we'll definitely be trying these in the taste test. This is what it looks like. They kind of look like little mini pumpkins. I don't think that was the plan, but I like this packaging a lot. It's simple, but it's really cute, and it's just, it's fun. So there's that. Nutrition facts and ingredients for you. Does contain milk, egg, and soy and wheat. Also, the Brussels sprout and uncured bacon ravioli is also now here, and Tim, when he saw this, he was like, oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. So um, this is now available, brand new product, so of course Tim's gonna be trying this in the taste test. There is quite a bit of ingredients on this one, so take a peek and see for yourself if you wanna get it. Now the last two items, yes, we're down to the last two, guys. If you're still here, Give this video a thumbs up. So we've got the Paulus Abbey beer cheese. I'm so excited to try this one. This looks so good. Like, wait, hold on. Before I say that, let me make sure I can have it. Microbial rennet. We're good. So there is beer flavor in, in it, and it has, oh, beer flavor and hop extract. So I feel like this is going to be very beer flavored so we'll we'll find out and then the cinnamon toscano cheese is back in every year i mention this every year somebody has like ew cinnamon and cheese what try it for yourself it is fantastic all the toscanos that trader joe's sell are of high quality and they're all delicious in their own way um the cinnamon one is just so fun for the season and so many people have gotten turned on to this cheese watching this channel so if you haven't tried it and you're curious now is the time it's seasonal and it's not here year round so that's it all right guys this is the haul oh my gosh i feel like i need a huge drink of water now because that was a lot but thank you so much for watching and sticking around and i hope to see you tomorrow hold on in the taste test but hold on i forgot about the la colombe pumpkin spice latte <laughs> My gosh, it just is never ending. Yeah, so this is also available. This was here last year as well. And this one's actually pretty good. I like this one. So there you go. Now we're done. See you tomorrow on the taste test. Thanks so much for watching. So what did you all think? Did that satisfy your pumpkin craving at Trader Joe's? If it didn't, go to your local one and pick up some stuff so you can munch on it yourself. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you um, have fingers and you can push that little button. That is so helpful. Thank you. And subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot more hauls to come this year. Um, this is it. This is the time. So subscribe. Notifications turned on. And tomorrow we have this really fun taste test. We're going to be trying tons of stuff. And I think my five-year-old is going to be in this video tomorrow. So if you're looking forward to seeing Benson, he will be in this video. Um, we're getting late in the day here. So we're going to film it later after school. So that will be fun. Also, if you missed out on our salsa video, Tim and I did a little salsa video, very laid back, impromptu. Check that video out. It was the last one I just posted. And then I have a Halloween haul coming out on Monday. 
It is my favorite haul I have ever done in my entire life. I am, if you know anything about me, Halloween is my jam, just in case you couldn't tell. Um, and I just, I went all out this year for Halloween decorations. So if you're looking for some inspiration, check that video out too. Now I'm done with my spiel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.